Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Let's listen to Stella and the Egg Tree. In Pig City, all was not well. King Pig was in a bad mood, and when King Pig was in a bad mood, it was very bad news for all the other pigs. Where are my eggs? King Pig asked Corporal Pig. You must have them for me by now. Corporal Pig went red and looked down. No. Said the king, "Why not?" He yelled. "It's those rotten birds, Your Majesty," explained Corporal Pig. "They guard their nest so well, day and night. We just can't get to their eggs." King Pig looked furious. "Are you telling me that you can't deal with one or two silly little birds?" He yelled. "Get out of here! And don't come back without my eggs." Later that day, on the other side of Piggy Island, Red Chuck. Bomb and the Blues were playing ball. Stella was looking after the eggs. The sun was out, and it was making Stella feel a little sleepy. Corporal Pig saw his chance. The bird guarding the nest had gone to sleep. The pigs grabbed all three eggs and made off with them. King Pig was going to be so pleased. Stella was not pleased. The eggs! She cried. They've gone. The other birds came over. The pigs must have taken them. Said Red furiously. What do we do about it? Said Chuck. Not we, Chuck. Said Stella. She was just as furious as Red. It's up to me to put things right. I'll get our eggs back. No rotten pig gets away with playing a trick on me. There were one or two things that Stella was going to need. First, she pulled up a big weed. Then she grabbed an old shawl. Without explaining, she set off for the slingshot. The pigs were well on their way back to Pig City when they met a stranger. She was an odd-looking old pig in a shawl. "Well, my pigs!" she cried. "Where are you going?" Corporal Pig was only too pleased to tell the stranger his good news. "We're going back to Pig City to see King Pig," he said. "We have eggs for him. Three big eggs." "I'm sure King Pig will be pleased to have them," said the old pig. "But only three." Is that all? It seems odd to take only three eggs when King Pig could have as many as he likes. Corporal Pig looked at the stranger. As many as, but how? He said. The old pig laughed. I will tell you for a price. She said. But we have no way to pay you. Said Corporal Pig. You can pay me with an egg. Said the stranger. For just one egg, I will tell you how to get as many more as you like. The pigs thought this seemed like a very good deal. You must go to the evergreen egg tree," said the old pig. "There, you will be sure to find all the eggs you need." The evergreen egg tree? Wow," said Corporal Pig. "But where is it?" "For that, you must pay another egg," said the old pig. "That seems fair," thought Corporal Pig, and he did so. The tree grows right in the very middle of an icky swamp," said the stranger. That's no good," cried Corporal Pig. "We can't get to it there." The old pig laughed again. "There is another way," she said. "You could grow an evergreen egg tree of your own." The old pig took something from her shawl. "This shoot comes from the evergreen egg tree," she explained. "It will grow into another tree. You may have it for just one more egg." "Silly old things!" laughed Stella as the pigs went on their way with the weed. She set off for home to find the other birds and tell them all about her little trick, and to put all three eggs back in their nest. And as for King Pig, well, he was not as pleased with the evergreen egg tree as Corporal Pig thought he would be. The end. So, kids, I hope you enjoyed that story. You can put this video on pause and. How much do you remember about the story of Angry Birds, Stella and the Egg Tree? You've got these questions. Answer them and find out. Thank you for listening and learning.